Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Reactor and this is Quinn. And today's article comes from Ars Technica and it's titled, E-Cigarette Company Put Viagra Cialis in Vape Liquids, the FDA is Throbbing Mad. The company also claimed a risky anti-obesity drug and its products were FDA approved. Well, yeah, pretty sure you can't put like drugs into your e-cigarettes. It sounds like that's a whole separate article about is that, are they saying that there's like an anti-obesity drug in this? No. Uh, yeah, they're thing? saying it's it's unrelated or something. Yeah, it's like sounds like a whole different other article to this. And why is it a risky anti-obesity drug? Like, right? Does it just work really great? What's? Yeah. <laughs> like the movie Thinner, Stephen King. Right. Like, it's like, like you'll whoa. get really thin, but <laughs> you'll also die horribly of starvation. What we do is we shut down your whole digestive system. So, so you can't process. You don't really want food. <laughs> you just die. <duck. laughs> All right. Vaping with a satisfying release. Like they're questioning it. A satisfying release. Like, like As is it, this really satisfying? Or are you just no. tasting a bunch of nasty, goopy liquid? You see the innuendo they're trying to paint right here. Right. As if, as if Viagra automatically gives you. You know, like, gets you to completion. We're about to talk trash about this vaping stuff, but it's really satisfying if you get the right weight loss chemical in there. Weight loss chemical? That's what they were saying, right? That there's I don't a know whole separate vaping. article that could be about oh, yeah. weight, weird. Look, I, I, know, I know you could put any drug into a vape. I mean, not really, really any like drug. Any, any anything drug. soluble in the glycol, you know? Right. That's, it, uh, that's it, kind of amazing that that could happen yeah, that you way. Could, you could put... Uh, so you're saying people are walking around putting like crack? In you could there. no crack. Crack is uh, anhydrous because it's free base. Oh, but well, no, actually, I don't know because it's like vegetable oil that they're vaping. Right. So whatever can mix with vegetable oil. I know powder cocaine can mix with water because it's got the hydrochloric acid in it. Okay. So, so that'd be water soluble, but maybe not vape soluble. Right. So crack could possibly be vape soluble. So what about? Prescription drugs. I know a lot of people like those. Could you put those in a vape? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. What if somebody wanted to put like, um, like cannabis type stuff uh, in a vape with their, you know, like vape liquid that they're using? Uh, that's, that's the only thing. Like, THC is different than any other drug because it's an oil. Okay. So it, it actually may maybe it's like I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know if the the vape juice is uh, polar or nonpolar or anything but about ba it. But basically, people can use these to put whatever drugs mm -hmm. they want in them. Yep, you can you can vape crack. Uh, the U uh, uh, where am I at? The U.S. food I didn't even start. Yeah, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration administration made clear on Thursday, October 11, that it has a major bone to pick with an electronic cigarette vendor that illegally pumped prescription erectile dysfunction drugs into unapproved e-liquid products intended for vaping that's messed up now see like the like viagra is erectile dysfunction medicine but it's right. really just a vasodilator okay so i mean like if you ask me it would be great for working out only problem is do you want to go to a gym and get boners right so i mean maybe maybe <laughs> some people do like that yeah i think mean, i don't know how that would go down uh the cocky company what I'm not even, I haven't even started this article, and I just don't understand what I'm talking about. Right. It's like a giant e -cig Is that the name ad. of the company? I don't know. No, Hello Sig Electronic Technology Co. Ltd. So why is it a cocky company? What does that mean? Even advertised the vape liquids with labels and images using drug brand names. For instance, it sold one of the vaping liquids as E. Cialis Hello Sig E-Liquid, alongside an image of a bottle and tablets of Eli Lilly's erectile dysfunction drug Cialis. It also sold a product with the brand of an anti-obesity drug that had been pulled from the market in Europe for causing psychiatric disorders. Oh. The e-liquid really contained the erectile dysfunction drug in Viagra, the FDA found. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, is okay. Viagra a prescription? I thought it wasn't prescription. I don't know. I, I didn't know people still took it. What? Do they? Yeah. It's really? one of the most popular drugs. Really? And you can actually mix it in vape juice? I didn't even know well, you could do Well, like that. a Viagra pill... Right. Sure, but the active ingredient that is the drug. Right. I don't know what the pill. I don't know what the active ingredient is, but I wouldn't crush up a pill. 
because there's all kinds of shit in there. Right. Like preservatives and paint. I don't know, whatever they, like that stuff they coat it with. Yeah. In other instances, the company falsely claimed that e-liquid products were FDA-approved products. Ooh. Cialis e-liquid. Weird. Vape that gives you boners. That's weird. The throbbing mad agency issued a stiff warning and firmly threatened civil money penalties, criminal prosecution, seizure, and or injunction if HelloSig didn't pull its products off the market immediately. The company has 15 days to respond. F- oh, when was this from? Can we still get it? <laughs> I mean, some people oh, may have fuck. liked the psychiatric. They were trying to get that psychiatric episode bottle. Yeah. Because they heard that it makes you... Dude, it makes Some you insane. certain way, yeah. Mm-hmm. Crazy. It makes all your good feelings into bad feelings. No. FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb blasted the company in a statement saying, there are no e-liquid products approved to contain prescription drugs or any other medications that require a doctor's supervision. Prescription drugs are carefully evaluated and labeled to reflect the risks of the medications and their potential interactions with other me- medicines. And vaping active drug ingredients is an ineffective route of delivery and can be dangerous. There are no e-liquids that contain prescription drugs that have been proven safe or effective through this route of administration. You know it's safe. What is this guy? Either this guy's an it may idiot. may not work, but it's definitely not going to kill you, right? Is it, no, he's saying vaping active drug ingredients is an ineffective route of delivery. No, it is the best route of delivery. You're inhaling the drug, dude. What do you... Are you talking... What, what? What? I don't understand. The FDA's warning is part of an ongoing effort to deflate misleading and illegal claims on vaping products. The agency's main goal is to block products that specifically entice youth to try addictive nicotine-containing products. Last month, Gottlieb declared that e-cigarette use among teenagers has reached nothing short of an epidemic proportion of growth. So you're trying to stop people to vape so they go to cigarettes. It's like, just let kids vape. Just let them know you don't need nicotine. Yeah. It tastes fine without it. Uh Uh-huh. Why do you even need it? Well, yes, yeah, st- make sure, yeah. Like, like there's enough drugs in the food you eat. Just, you know, you don't need nicotine. It's yeah. all good. You can drink your water and get some, some fluoride, but you can't vape nicotine. Oh, I don't know. Right. I use the word epidemic with great care, he wrote in a statement at the time. E-cigs have become an almost ubiquitous and dangerous trend among teens. The disturbing and accelerating trajectory of use we're seeing in youth and the resulting path to addiction must end. It's simply not tolerable. I'll be clear. The FDA won't tolerate a whole generation of young people becoming addicted to nicotine as a trade-off for enabling adults to have unfettered access to these same products. What? Okay, what they're probably not considering, though, is there's actually no difference in teenagers using nicotine. You know? They're just not using cigarettes now. It's like, oh, my God, they're all starting to vape. Yeah, I bet they used to use cigarettes. Yeah, somebody's upset that they're not buying cigarettes, too. Yeah, Yeah, it's probably no different... The same amount of humans are using the products. It's just they're not smoking them now. Right. Yeah, it's not like vaping is taking people who wouldn't have smoked. You know what right. I mean? They'd be smoking cigarettes. Yeah, that's stupid. As such, the agency has banged away at e-cigarette companies and any questionable tactics. Most notably, the agency seized more than 1,000 sales and marketing documents from popular e-cigarette maker Jewel Labs during an unscheduled inspection a few weeks ago. Jewel e-cigarettes resemble USB drive devices and have been wildly, wildly popular, particularly with teens. They currently make up the lion's share of the e-cigarette market. The FDA's primary concern is advertising and e-liquid flavoring, such as candy and fruit flavors intended at hooking youngsters. No. They do that. Uh, they can hook anybody with those flavors. Though. Yeah. No. I mean, the, they're so good what? flavors sometimes. So they, they should only have, like, a tobacco flavor for vape because yeah, adults... Just, dirty sock Dunk, flavor yeah. so no kids will want it yeah we need fruity good stuff too <laughs> no, what the fuck? uh with that focus fda conducted lab analysis on hello sig e-cigarette e-liquids finding products that contained tadalafil yeah okay yeah. That, and yeah. sildef sildenafil sure the fda also scrutinized the company's product called e rimanabot bont Hello, Sig e liquid, which was marketed alongside an image of a bottle of tablets and of Acomplia. What are these fucking drug right. words? An anti obesity drug developed by Sanofi Aventis. Acomplia was never approved by the FDA, but it had been previously approved in Europe in 2006. It was withdrawn from the market in 2008, however, after it was found to significantly increase the risk of psychiatric disorders. Hello, Sig's e liquid did not contain 
Rimanabant Accomplia, but it did contain undeclared sildenafinil. So it me- so that drug messes with your brain chemistry and makes it so you, you, it, it, I'm wondering if it like makes your psychiatric disorder you already had more like, you know, what do you call it? More pronounced? Or yeah, like, like, like how drugs can, can make psychiatric disorders come out. Right, like, or is it just going to give you a new one that you never even wanted or knew you had? And, it, it's a new like, type of psychiatric disorder. that's maybe why people want to toy with it because they're like, well, maybe, maybe this will... Maybe this is the person I'm looking for. The, psychiatric, you know? the new psychi- psychiatric disorder that it created was uh, a need to, uh, it was like an attraction to lions. So mm. these people are just always walking up to lions. Right. Because it's like, like I can pet something's this. wrong with their brain now. Right. No, they just want the lion. I don't know. Right, weird. No, I'm joking, but. Okay. That's the end of the article. All uh, right, real funny, Dave. But yeah, so just to. to Final thought, uh, you can put any drug you want in a vape. Cool. Uh, I mean, it's not as simple as that, but if you get a uh, pure drug, you know, uh, alkaloids, right. you can dissolve them in vape juice and, and vape them. So and Somebody probably is right now. I, I guarantee someone's vaping crack right now. Crazy. You could, you could vape heroin, crack, anything. I just wouldn't, I don't know about crushing up pills because there's all a bunch of different other ingredients that will just make a mess. Probably. But it just you, all seems like a really messy thing to even deal with, all the sticky liquid and everything else. If you do an acid-based extraction to get the pure drug out of the pills, you know, crush up a whole pile of them and then extract it, right? you'd be a lot better off. And I believe it would be very safe. Right. Um, I mean, you could OD on drugs still, you know? Right. I mean, you could OD on Ooh. Hot Pockets. Ooh, how about this? Matter. You could vape. You could put alcohol. Like, I, I would do moonshine, like pure ethanol. But you could right. put that into your vape and get drunk. That's insane, dude. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to try it. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't want to try it. Yeah. Yeah. You have anything else you want to say? Nope. Well, that's it for the video. Uh, let us know what you thought by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hopefully, you don't give it a thumbs down. But uh, anyway, if you gave it a thumbs up, uh, might I interest you in our Patreon link, which is in our description. And uh, it's much appreciated. We do this for free, so... Uh, any, any help you can give us would really be amazing <laughs> and appreciated. But we'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.